Greetings all, it's Blue Knight. Welcome back to Star Fox 64. Previously, we went to Katina and managed to save the base and build there. Today, we'll be heading to Solar, which is pretty much the son of the Lilat system. So let's not waste any time, just get right to it. That area's an oven. Don't go burning that R-Wing. Be reasonable, Fox. I'll be careful. Good luck. Keep an eye on your shield gauge. Now when I meant Solar was the hottest planet in the Lilac system, or really it's more of a star, I meant it. This actually plays into the gimmick of this level that your R-Wing loses health constantly because of the heat, as well as your allies, whatever they're on screen. It's possible for your allies to retire from the stage if their health comes in too low when they come in when you start the stage, or they at some point. Looks like you can now look who's here! Box. It's Bill! That's the thing about some of these ally missions, depending on what go. you... What mission you complete at when you meet your ally the first time, they can help out in whichever level that you're in. Watch yourself, so Bill box. just gave me a lot of silver rings there, which is very nice, and I bet you get uh, twin laser as well, it's awesome. And of course he backed off just as soon as the gores, the gores, birds appear. I'm not sure if we're really sure the birds are not. Actually, a small tip about the gores is that I'm not sure if they were created by Andros or they're native to Solar, but they actually share a connection with the boss of this stage. We'll get into that with the, with the bosses a bit later, though, of course. Good rip. Oh, well, that's something we haven't seen before, at least to my recollection. It's the Star Ring. I think that's what I think it's called. I'm not sure what the official name of it is. But when you collect that, you'll get a bunch of health back. Actually, when you call Robin for supplies, if you're really low on health, then he'll bring that in. Other than bombs or lasers, or whatever you need most at that point. So, just collect as many rings as possible to make sure that your shield meter stays stays filled up. Also, go after these uh, asteroids or rocks or meteors, whatever they are. If you break them apart, they each count for one point, so it's very kind of simple to get the metal here. Though there's not a lot of enemies to go by, so you have to rely on the asteroids more often than the gores if you want to get the metal, especially those Big, those big rocks when you can break them up into smaller pieces, each piece counting for a point. This is the enemy and now we meet the bioweapon, the Volcane, which, as I mentioned earlier, shares a connection with the Gores in some way. Let's go after the Ards early on to break it off, to break them off. That's their first weak point, or its first weak point, but every now and then it will sink beneath the lava, come back out of range of your of your lasers. Oh, maybe not, I've actually attacked it there. But it's gonna stir up a lot of waves here, so make sure to veer off to the right when that happens. But it'll come back in range for you to attack, for you to attack after a while. There's this one arm. Also, don't fly too low to the surface, because I think your shield here depletes even faster if you do that. As Peppy mentioned at the start of the level, not to fly too low, because our ship can't take it, obviously. So now go after the head after you take out the arms. It's going to spin around and try to produce some fireballs or sink into the lava. But when it sinks into the lava, watch this. Any minute now. Any minute. Here it comes. It jumps right into the air. Like a freaking whale! I have no idea how it does that, but when that happens, we're off to the right again. Or, summer salt in my case, I, that actually helped, actually. I didn't know that could happen. But now it's secure on a fireball, it's 
kind of out of range. But it also spews out some rocks where you can break off for some rings. So make sure to shoot those when you have the chance. But when it's a rage, just go after the head repeatedly. Okay, now showing up his final attack. Try to use some fireballs, but not too hard. It could have been a lot easier if I had hyperlaser, but oh well. Cutting it close there. Yeah, really close actually. I did not expect to lose, lose that much health at all. Maybe I wasn't paying attention on getting enough rings, but oh well, we survived. We'll live to find another day, which is, I cannot say the same for the volcano. <laughs> One last bit about solar. If you remember from my Sector X video, I mentioned that the three nebula, the XYZ, have formed this triangle. Well, in the center of it is solar, and the reason for us both to stay could be, cut, could be because of the three nebulous triangle. So that could be the reason why it's in its molten state today. Eh? But that's all for solar. Next time on Star Fox 64, we'll be heading into Macbeth, the final level in the easy path. Or media path. Man, I found it easy for so long, that's just getting great to my brain now. Next time, media path, Macbeth. We'll see you then. Or farewell for now. I'm just stuttering at this point. Bye. Captain's log. Stardate February 27th, 2016. Whew, I need a cold shower. Our journey took us into the sun of Lilat, solar. Needless to say, it was really, really hot, but somehow our arms were able to hold out against that scorching temperature. It was worth the trek since we got a tip about a bioweapon Andros had control of there. Once again, I owe my thanks to Bill for helping me out early on this mission. Eventually, we took down the bioweapon and our adventure takes us to Macbeth, where General Pepper informed us that's where Andros is manufacturing his weaponry. Taking out that source will be helpful for us in crippling his army supply. We'll get on that after we cool down and lock.